This is the Mazda MX-5, but not as we know it. It's the all-new MX-5 RF. The RF stands for Retractable Fastback, this folding metal roof. So, has that in a hardtop changed the character of this little Japanese roadster that we've come to know and love? While Mazda has previously offered a folding hardtop to the MX-5, the new RF puts a different spin on it. That is in large part because there really isn't enough space in the tiny MX-5's boot to fold all the metal into. So that made designers get creative, shaping this fastback roofline with fixed rear pillars to create something special and unique. Of course, adding the hard roof meant adding weight, which was the enemy of the MX-5 designers in the first place. But thanks to a mixture of steel, aluminium and plastics, the new top only adds around 45 kilos to the compact sports car. The trade-off for that extra weight though pays off inside the cabin where it feels a lot more refined and civilised than the little MX-5 Roadster. Now this feels like a proper coupe and that's really where the RF is pitched as a more civilised customer who wants a more refined car. And that's also obvious in other touches with the RF like the higher spec cars come with this really nice quality Nappa leather which again lifts it and makes it feel like a more premium offering compared to the soft top which really is a basic little fun roadster. Roof aside there isn't much mechanically different compared to the regular soft top MX-5. Mazda has however opted to ditch the 1.5 litre engine meaning the larger 2 litre 4 cylinder is the sole power planet. It's good for 118 kilowatts of power and 200 newton metres of torque and paired with the choice of a 6 speed manual or automatic transmission. The only slight change is the suspension, which is a little bit firmer to account for the additional weight of the roof. As for how those tech specs really translate into the real world, well, we'll have to reserve our judgement until we get a better drive of the RF. Our test today has really been limited to roads around Tokyo, so the difference in this car, particularly having the added weight up high, could come into play in the bends, but really, initial impressions suggest it's actually not going to make that much difference. This is still feels like a really fun, agile, sporty little car, and that is what the MX-5 is all about. As for the engine, well, picking the 2.0-litre is a no-brainer. The 1.5 is a fun little engine, but you know, adding this 2.0-litre, it's got more than enough grunt for a car of this size. And again, pitching it as a more premium offering, you've got to have the premium engine. The MX-5 RF will go on sale in Australia in February 2017. Pricing will start at $38,550 for the base model, manual equipped car, and stretch all the way to $46,890 for the RF GT with a black roof and the Nappa leather interior. Yes, adding a metal roof has changed the character of the MX-5, but not for the worse. It's made it a different proposition. With the folding roof and the more refined interior, it's a much easier and more luxurious car to live with every day. But it still has those open air thrills that we love about the MX-5.